the waiting is over. At long last, we have Cheltenham. Now, it starts off with the Supreme Novice Hurdle, and we are dealing with real champions of the future. Huge contingent of Irish and English. Not a race to get too stuck into, but for me, I like Dermot Wells' Galileo's choice. Uh, would be against Darlan, uh, fell in the Betfair Hurdle. Uh, I think he might empty at the bottom of the hill. Steps to Freedom is really well tipped, but I just markedly go for Galileo's choice. Now, the first banker comes up in the Arkell. Sprinter Sacra is a good thing, according to Barry Geraghty. He absolutely has put me off Al for Elf. He says it's the best horse he's ever ridden. That's good enough for me. So, Sprinter Sacra is a short price in the second race. Now, the horse I like in the 240, we got a tip on the News Talk Breakfast for Fruity or Rooney, but the one I like is the package, because because David Pipe lays out these David Johnson horses. Timmy Murphy rides. He's got a handy weight of 10-10. He's a nine-year-old. He's lightly raced. I think his horse form is outstanding. Now, the bet of the day, the meeting, the year, is the one certainty going today, Hurricane Fly. He is a 10 times grade one winner. He is unbeaten and unbeatable. He's at his peak of his powers now at eight. Don't look for anything else. He is going to be, when you look at your evening news this evening, he is going to be the star of the show. The one I like is not the favourite in this cross hunters, uh, the, the cross country chase, uh, is Sizing Australia. Won the race last year. Willie Mullins is two short price favourites in at Scots Irish and uh, Uncle Junior. I think Scots Irish mightn't stay, uh, so I'm going for Sizing Australia there, the proven horse. Now, the second banker of the day is Covega. She's won this race, she's going for four in a row. She is a grade one mare running against grade two horses in a grade two race. She's a certainty. And finally, in the last race, I always watch out for Nigel Tristan Davis's horses because he trains locally at the course and he has a nicely weighted 11 6. His son rides Ackertack. Might be an each way proposition in the last. Good luck.